What is up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm bringing you a Sneasler and Basque Legion team for Regulation H. This team was made by Harold HD, thank you so much for making this team and sending it my way. And they also have a YouTube channel of their own, so I'm going to link them in the description, go check them out. Uh, but anyways, the idea of this team is just super strong Pokemon. You've got Ndidi with Psychic Surge, which procs Sneasler's Psychic Seed giving it the unburdened boost to boost its speed. And then it's a pretty bulky Sneasler, so you can afford to set up Swords Dance and sweep with Close Combat Dire Claw and Terra Dark Throat Chop. Uh, you can also set up to sweep with Golden Go, which is a, it's the basic set, but with Life Orb instead of Leftovers, so it can do a lot of damage. And also pair well with this Murkrow, who can haze your Make It Rain drops if you just go straight for offense, which you can do because of the Life Orb. Uh, High Dragon pairs really well with Golden Go as well. They've got perfect type synergy, and it's a spec set. It's the Terrifier Heatwave spec set, which is my favorite High Dragon, honestly. Uh, and then a Basket Legion here. Adaptability Choice Scarf. There's no rain on this team. Uh, in closed team sheet, you might think Murkrow has Rain Dance, but it does not. It's just an Adaptability Basket Legion to power up same type moves with Wave Crash, Last Respects, Grass Terra Blast, and Aqua Jack. Just a really strong damage dealing Pokemon that can clean up games after you've lost a couple Pokemon, making Last Respects really strong. But anyways, looks like a solid team. Let's jump in with it. Okay, it's... This is a Regulation H team. And we have Haze Murkrow, let's go! Okay, they got Muck, Smeargle. I think you might know what they're trying to do with that. They got Sableye, Rillaboom, Blastoise and Meowstic Mail. Smeargle's gonna have Moody, it's gonna faint, and then Power of Alchemy Muck is gonna get that Moody, it's gonna get all those boosts every turn, it's also gonna minimize to try to avoid moves. They got Screens on Sableye, I'm guessing, Fa Double Fake Out with Blastoise and Rillaboom, Healing with Rillaboom for Grass, Healing with Blastoise from uh, Life Dew. I'm not sure what the Meowstic's for. Usually that's a screen setter, but they also have Sableye as a screen setter. Uh, but we just bring Murkrow and we're set. Uh, Golden Go is pretty good. Set up, blast stuff. Maybe put it next to Murkrow even. Uh, maybe even redirect with Safety Goggles and Dee. I mean, they're not going to try to spore Golden Go. They could try to spore Murkrow. Have Murkrow in the back. And then Cleanup Crew, Sneasler? I like Sneasler. Yeah. I also like High Dragon here, though. High Dragon hits everything so hard. But it's a Sneasler bit. Let's put Sneasler in. And this is actually a Regulation H team. This is a legit match. It's not just gonna be... Uh, and, and they can't just go Smeargle, Smeargle Muck. That's a weird card. And just win off of Hacks. Because we've got the Haze. They are going with that, though. Alright, let's get a nasty plot. Let's get some chip damage with Hyper Voice. They try to spore in DD, they learn about the safety goggles. That's probably their best play. Makes sense. Alright, and they get their minimize. I'll allow it. If I can hit them after one minimize with a make it rain here, we're good. Otherwise, I'm going to have to start hazing. Special attack rise, spadef fall, who cares? Let's click make it rain, get rid of that smeargle causing Murkrow trouble, and bring in Murkrow. There's no way they go for another spore into that slot. Just to follow me. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna make it rain anyway. Hopefully I hit the muck here and it's over. We do. It's over. Goodbye. Muck. That's why I didn't even need the haze. That's why you cannot trust a Smeargle muck strategy. Because you could do everything right and then it's just... They hit you anyway. And you lose. I guess the game's not over. They've got two more Regulation H Pokemon in the back. But I've got a plus one Golden Go, 
and I've got the potential to put Tailwind up. We've got Meowstic. Do they have Rillaboom? If they have Rillaboom, I can just go into Indeedy, yeah. They've got Rillaboom and Meowstic. I mean, am I that scared? How fast does this Golden go? 127? Rillaboom does not usually go that fast. Or a dragon doesn't really matter. I'll make it rain, I'll bring Indeedee back. Battle's cancelled, yup! <laughs> you lose your muck, you, lo you lose the game! I mean, sorry man, don't run that. <laughs> oh, we're fighting Smeargle Muck again. Okay, that's something. They now know about our safety goggles, Indeedy. I think we don't lead Indeedy this time. Maybe they'll do something else. We'll see. Golden Go setup is still our best bet. Uh, maybe I put it next to Murkrow. Maybe I put it next to High Dragon. Just do big damage. Still want Indeedy in the back, and I still want Murkrow. I still want Indeedee Murkrow, so it's Golden Go something, Indeedee Murkrow. Oh, they don't have Flip Turn on this, that would be cool. Indeedee Murkrow. Still like Sneasler. Yeah, I mean, why not just do the exact same thing, right? They could do the exact same thing and like hope I miss this time. I don't know. We'll see. If you're on casual ladder, they like they like to pair you with the same person if they enter at the same time. So you, you got to be careful. You got to like pause after a match. Wait a couple seconds. Blastoise Sableye. Oh yeah, they're doing something completely different. They benched both of those Pokémon last time. Wonder what their plan is here. My plan is to hit Blastoise. I'm gonna Shadow Ball it. And I'm gonna bring in Sneasler. Because I get the special defense boost with the Psychic Seed, so I can probably take a hit from Blastoise or something. If it's offensive. I don't know, they don't have much offense on their team. I'm not sure what their plan really is. I'm not sure what this really means other than that resist make it rain. Let me put up light screen. Okay. Let's see how much Shadow Ball damage we can get. I'll take it, that's pretty good. And they shell smash. Gotcha. You still might not be as fast as Sneasler, depending. Alright, and they do have the white herb. Okay. Well, I can tear a dragon with Golden Go. Definitely take a hit there. I think then it's better to Nasty Plot since I'm not going to Oko Blastoise from here. And then with Sneasler? Let's try to Oko Blastoise from here. Close combat. If you're not faster than my Sneasler, and the Sneasler isn't very fast, this isn't a super speedy Sneasler. It's possible they just go first anyway. But it also depends on what their move is, because like usually you would expect like Water Spout, but they've already been chipped, so Water Spout's not super strong here. Yeah, there's Reflect. I figured you'd put that up, but Close Combat's still fine. Does not KO. All right, but we were faster. And now we're at neutral. I guess I should have Dire Clawed. Muddy Water. Golden Go dodges. Sneasler lives, but gets an accuracy drop. Alright, I'm happy to click Make It Rain now. And probably bring in Murkrow? I think Murkrow can take a hit if Sneasler can take a hit. I'll lose my Unburden, but... I mean, no. I was faster anyway. I'll click Make It Rain, and then I'll try to connect to Dire Claw. I was faster. Sure, I have an accuracy drop, but I might hit you. 
There goes Sableye. Into what? Rillaboom? Fine, you're just getting it out. You're gonna go down to a make it rain. Changing the terrain doesn't undo my unburden. I still already ate the seed. Blastoise just protects. Okay. You want a fake out turn. Protect Shell Smash, Muddy Water. Could be Ice Beam. Um, one play I do have is risk the accuracy and just bring in Indeedee here. Because they could fake out Sneasler. I could give up my plus one on Golden Go to bring in Indeedee. And then try to hit Blastoise with Sneasler. That would still also save Golden Go for later and maybe behind Tailwind. So yeah, I like that. I think that's fine. And I'll Dire Claw Blastoise. Because if I connect the Dire Claw, Blastoise is just gone. And their Grassy Glide will go after if they go for that, and their Fake Out will do nothing if they go for that. There's Fake Out, yep. Completely blocked. And Dire Claw connects. Bye, Blastoise. Get out of here. This person just cannot with evasion. <laughs> Good job, Sneasler. Alright, there's Sableye. Not sure really what your Sableye does. Uh, I guess I have to hit Rillaboom. And your last mod? I don't know who your last mod would be. Could be just Muck anyway. I'll just... I think I'll get back into Golden Go? Get my accuracy back on Sneezer, I don't know. Uh, I think I'll go for a Hyper Voice just to try to chip Rillaboom in case Dire Claw misses? No. No, I'll go back into Golden Go and try to Dire Claw the Rillaboom. Battle's just cancelled, okay. <laughs> Get out of here. Woo, GG. Alright, oh, a Dondozo team. I'm glad we have Haze. Alright, they, ha uh, they also have Monkey Doris. This is not actually a Regulation H team, but it's kinda close. They've got Cleavor, Golden Go, Pelipper, Dondozo, Tatsugiri. The red Tatsugiri, which gives order up an attack boost. But yeah, but Monkey Dory, not legal. Okay, we'll bring Murkrow in the back for Haze. Versus Cleavor, Monkey Dory, Golden Go. Um, I don't hate High Dragon. Could do some big damage with its choice specs right off the bat. Maybe even bring it with Indeedee. Now, it, I'm not protected from priority moves on High Dragon because it'll levitate. So a Monkey Dory fake out could still happen. Uh, Sneasler ain't bad. Uh, Murkrow in the back for sure. And then maybe Sneasler? Or is it Golden Go? I'm a little worried about the rain. Oh, I guess I have Grass, Terra, Blast, Basket, Legion. That could be funny. That could be pretty good into Dondozo, actually. Uh, am I gonna go with that? Two supports? Two attackers? I guess it works. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Let's see, what am I most worried about? I have Snarl if they have Golden Go first. Monkey Dory, I don't know what to expect. I don't know who that character is. Is that just some random guy? Just take a picture with some random guy? Alright. Leavor Pelipper. Most likely an X Scissor coming out, which can be redirected into Indeedee. Get rid of this Cleavor, let's Dark Pulse it. Hit Terra and Didi follow me. 
Do I really want my Terra type on anything else? Don't want to go Terra Fire. Terra Grass gets me around what? Shadow Ball? Not much else. Yeah, you know what? I'm willing. Dark Pulse. Terra Ghost, follow me. Keep my Ndidi around a little longer would be nice. An extra follow me is an extra Dark Pulse. And I don't know, this is Timid 252 Specs Dark Pulse. But Cleavor, I don't know. Cleavor, I've seen Assault Vest Cleavor, I've seen Focus Ash Cleavor. Uh, but that was in like Reg D or whenever it was first introduced. Then it fell off because no one was using it. Also seen Scarf. So there's a lot of things I would want to redirect for here. I can't just trust that I'm faster and trust that I can KO it. Yeah, I am faster, it's not Scarf. Oh, and it just lives on one for no reason. Okay. Stone Axe does a lot. And there's Weather Ball and DD. Okay, is Ndidi gonna eat that? No. Well, that's fine. Speed set on this Murkrow, 116. Uh, I, don't, I don't think that's going to be faster. I think we need to go with Basket Legion. And it needs to be Dark Pulse, Cleavor, Last Respect. No, Last Respect's a Cleavor. Dark Pulse, the Pelipper, should KO it. And if it's Sash, there's a flinch chance. We'll put Last Respects at the Cleavor. Last Respects right now is 100 base power, adaptability boosted ghost move, it's good. Alright. Who is this? Who is this? There's Dondoza. And there's, of course, Tatsuki. Alright. Now we gotta get our Murkrow in. It's not gonna be super easy to get our Murkrow in, though. Uh, I think they probably order up into High Dragon on this turn. Wish we hadn't burned our Terra. How much does Last Respects do? Not much. So yeah, they're gonna attack High Dragon. But I would like to keep High Dragon. Can Murkrow afford to switch into Rocks and take an order up? I'm gonna say no. So we have no choice but to give them High Dragon. And then sweep with less respects. Yeah. That's really the only play. Because they're definitely gonna. They're definitely. They've got to order up the High Dragon. It's definitely their play. Yeah, call that. I, I just don't think Murkrow is going to take that. And that boosts our uh, Last Respect damage. So, I mean, this game could still go either way. But Last Respect sweep seems possible. Because we're going to haze away all that stuff now. Last Respect is going to do a lot more. Not an Oko. It did just a little bit of damage. It'll do double that after the haze. And even more for High Dragon going down. Probably a two shot. Last respects. Haze. And then we can Tailwind while we take out the Dondozo. And hopefully they don't have Terra Normal on anything. <laughs> Get rid of all your stats real quick. Thank you. I wonder if Wave Crash still knocks out Murkrow. Ooh, a crit! Bye, Dozo. You bozo. Wait, so I never needed the haze? Is that what you're telling me? 
Because <laughs> I think we're faster than a Dondozo with this scar. Uh, that's actually kind of annoying. I'm gonna last respects into Tatsugiri and Tailwind. I don't think Pelipper can Oko anybody here. Tatsugiri might with Draco. I, need to, I just need the Tailwind for Murkrow to be faster than Cleavor. I'm glad they didn't just bring Cleavor in. Uh, if they set their own Tailwind, uh, they're not doing damage, so I'm not too scared of that. Come on, Basket Legion, you got this. Sweep them. Sash! No! Oh! Uh, that's why I didn't want to KO the Dondozo that turn. I wanted another turn after I put Tailwind up. No! Okay, yeah, we can't win. Ah, uh, GG. You ever lose to getting a crit? Because uh, what could have happened is I could have... Yeah, Murkrow eats that. If I had been able to set Tailwind a turn earlier, I could foul play with Murkrow that turn. Take, double into Tatsugiri, take it out. And then foul play into Cleavor, take that out. Last respects into Pelipper. There'd be no more rain. Uh, I guess... Tatsugiri doesn't run moves that can hit. Tatsugiri could just keep missing all of its moves, and Pelipper, no. I'm not gonna take out Pelipper with Battle Blade. Ah, GG. Just couldn't beat the Don- I, I mean, I beat the Dondozo. Dondozo wasn't the problem. The problem was I crit the Dondozo. <laughs> oh, such a weird scenario. Alright, well, GG. Alright, here we go. That is not Regulation H. That is a Maridon. That is an Ogre Pond. Maybe they just don't bring Maraid on an Ogre Pond. Maybe they're like, oh, if you're bringing Dragon Age, I'll just bring the other four Pokemon. And it's fine, you know? Metagross, Meowskarada, uh, Mimikyu, and Corviknight. They're, they're fine. They're fine. I doubt we get so lucky, though. <laughs> uh, we could Murkrow to get speed advantage. We could Indeedee to get rid of their terrain. In fact, I like Indeedee a lot. Indeedee Sneasler? Sneasler could go in against some of those Pokemon. I like that a lot. Yeah, I like Sneasler just do something right away. Turn off their terrain. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> Boom shaka. Okay. Uh, Scarf Last Respects seems really solid too. 117 times 1.5. Not enough to catch a Maridon. But that's okay. That's not built to catch a Maridon. <laughs> uh, I guess Golden Go and High Dragon. They can they can swap well together. They've got perfect synergy. So gonna go with that. Yeah. Yeah, we just Indeedus and and Sneezeless and they just go crazy. That's what I'm hoping. Sneasler is absolutely cr Oh, no trainer card. You see someone on casuals, they have no trainer card, they bring stuff like Maridon. No respect there. Alright, at least we caught the Maridon out first. That's something. Unfortunately, there is no helping hand on this Indeedee. So we're not going to be able to blow up Maridon. What I think of follow me in a Direct Claw into Maridon is pretty good. I don't want to drop my defense right now. Follow me. Direct Claw could get a cool effect. And if we get a cool effect on Maridon, that's great. Uh, we can't get para Paralysis because they're an electric type. But if we roll Sleep? Or even Poison, that'd be cool. Almost half. And the poison. Okay, next one KOs. Uh, are you gonna switch out? Yeah. This one. This indeed he takes that really well. Maybe they're not specs. Now this is a very specially defensively trained indeed he though. So the damage calcs aren't gonna be what I expect. This indeed he has like a hundred special defense EVs. Oh, uh, there's Mimikyu. And a tailwind. Okay. Should still be faster anyway. 
Uh, maybe. We'll see. Sneasler, 142. It's very bulky, Sneasler. Okay, there's a chance they catch us. Hard to say. I want to do follow me. I think I want to throw a Dire Claw at the Mimikyu. Getting a status condition on Mimikyu would also be great, and breaking that. Uh, disguise. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do much to Corviknight anyway with close combat. I don't know if I guess the Mimikyu goes first and Oko's. Oh, it's a Sword Dance. Fine. Uh, not super fine though. You are, in fact, faster than my Sneasler. Maybe I'll paralyze you and not have to worry about you being faster than Sneasler. Nope. I'm just an Iron Defense. Okay. You're letting me get away with way too much. Uh, I would like Trick Room, but Play Rough coming at Sneasler can't really afford to do anything but follow me. And Special Attacker's in the back, so I'm not actually worried about that Iron Defense. I'll throw another Dire Claw. If I can catch a good status condition or get the KO. I don't think I get the KO. Play Rough connects. Yeah, plus two, that's definitely going to KO indeedy. Are they going to go for a Brave Bird on my Sneasler this time? I guess I could have parried for that, but... Good damage. Just another Iron Defense. Fine by me. Oh, I could High Dragon Bait. High Dragon Bait in the move. Bait in the Play Rough and go Terra Fire Heat Wave, take out Corviknight. Yeah. How's that Tailwind looking? Last turn? Alright, this is the turn we need to take down that Corviknight then. Terrifier Heat Wave. I guess they could Terrastalize around that. I'm scared. Could just be a Brave Bird into Sneasler. Oh, I don't think close combat does enough to make a difference if they're at plus four defense. I'm gonna sword stance with Sneasler. I might be losing Sneasler here anyway. But I'm gonna go for a sword stance if I can. I think the play rough at High Dragon is too juicy, so they're gonna take that. Yeah, there's play rough at High Dragon. Less than half. Beautiful. There's our Swords Dance. It, maybe that was greedy. I don't know. Body press. Ooh, body press into High Dragon does it. Oh, it's a crit. Alright, well, their Tailwind is gone. Golden Go, the Gourmet can come out. Oh, boy. I think I need to nasty plot with Golden Go. And Dire Claw the Mimikyu. <laughs> Gonna set Electric Train. If they set Tailwind though, I lose. But I can't let Mimikyu get a hit off either. I don't know what to do. Alright, Dire Claw and the Mimikyu, at least it wasn't like a Shadow Sneak. Can't, well, can't like, you would have to swap in right on to do that, but like, of course it wasn't a Shadow Sneak. <laughs> I get my nasty plot. I feel like they just set Tailwind, and then what can I really do versus Maridon? Light Screen. Light Screen, Tailwind, Iron Defense, Body Press. Oh! You can't touch my Pokemon! Alright, we'll double the Maridon. That's not a Maridon. And it can tear up. Sneasler would go first. Plus two Sneasler should be able to knock that out. With close combat, just in case they terastalize. I 
Then I'll throw a Shadow Ball at the Corviknight, because that's all that I've got left to do. Yeah. Yeah, there's the Terra. They don't want to take a Dire Cloth. Makes sense, makes sense. But plus two Sneasler, we're max attack adamant. This should be plenty. The thing I'm worried about is Corviknight behind Light Screen taking a plus two Life Orb Shadow Ball, which it could. I feel like that's iffy to me. Plus two Life Orb Shadow Ball should be enough, but Light Screen, I'm, I don't think it is. I'm gonna say Corviknight eats this. And then if they get up Tailwind, and Maridon just goes for Discharge, there's nothing we can do. If they don't get up Tailwind, Sneasler's faster. Ooh, yeah, it lives. Oh, and we get the special defense drop? You're not mirror armor. Okay. There's the tailwind. Yikes. Big yikes. You have to commit a spread move. And the only spread move that's taking out Golden Go is like a discharge. But I also think you're not specs, so I don't know if you actually do take it out. Shadow Ball Maridon. Dire Claw Maridon. Overheat! That's a move! Okie dokie. Uh, now we just have to take one body press with Sneezer. That should be no problem. How many close combats have we used? Not too many, right? Woo! That was closer than I was hoping. We were, we were only at minus one. They were only at plus four. That did so much damage. Oh, at least we're faster even despite their tailwind. So close combat. They don't have Terra. We're good. Whew. Sneasler, let's go. Let's go, Sneasler. Oh, yeah. Uh, game, I guess. <laughs> I don't know about good game. You did have a ride on an Ogre Pond, but they didn't last long. GG's. And we're back. I did not expect to fight Maridon, Muck, Muck again, and a Dondozo. Uh, casual Ladder is certainly one of the places of all time. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. There's a rental code up for you there. It's a really powerful team. So go ahead and try it. Bring it on Casual Ladder. I would like to see this team on Casual Ladder. But anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace. <laughs>